With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry, and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question, and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. So we are given with a question which says a particle is moving around a circular path with uniform angular speed x. The radius of the circular path is r. We need to calculate the acceleration of the particle. So we know. When the body is performing circular motion, there are two types of acceleration that is been uh, acting on the uh, body which is performing a circular motion. All right. So, uh, as we can see it over here, the two acceleration is one is tangential acceleration acting along the tangent, and one is the radial acceleration that is acting along the radius. So, the total acceleration that is a can be given as or the magnitude of a can be uh, written as a equals to under root of At square plus of ar square. All right, uh, where at is tangential acceleration and its value has been given by uh, mod of dv by dt. All right, because we know uh, in in the case of a uniform uh, circular motion. All right, the magnitude of linear velocity. Uh, that is acting along the tangent is always constant, so this value will comes out to be zero. All right. Since we have been given with uh, the uniform angular speed, angular speed is uniform. That is, we know by relation v is equals to r omega, and where omega is uh, angular speed here in the question, uh, it has been represented by x. So we will write it as x over here. So as we can see, x will be uh, uniform only when v uh, is uniform. All right, and v is the linear velocity that is acting along the tangent. So from here we can say the tangential acceleration will be zero for the case of uniform circular motion. So the acceleration we are getting will be a r that is radial only. So acceleration we are getting is radial, and the formula for radial acceleration can be written as v square by r, or it can be written as r omega square. All right. So from here, what we can uh, write is acceleration can be written as a equals to. Uh, if we use this formula, so instead of v, we can write r square x square by using the relation above which we have studied. Let's write it as capital R and divide by r. So what we are left with is uh, r x square, and this can be written as uh, r into x into x. Which further can be written as we know R X is uh, V, so instead of this term we can write it as V. So therefore we can get the acceleration value as V into X. So this is the uh, answer to this question that is matching with option C. So I hope you have understood uh, the concept and thank you for watching. For class six to twelve, ITG and NEET level, trusted by more than five crore students. Download Doubt and App today.